a world where every company overuses descriptions like revolutionary, reimagined, magical, Beyonce, Taylor Swift. Here comes Sony with A7 III, a fantastic full frame camera, and calls it the basic model. This is the best marketing strategy I've seen in a really long time. And the camera is absolutely spectacular. especially with 28 to 70 mm kit lens for a couple of reasons. One, in total it is cheaper than my A6500 with 16 to 70 Zeiss lens combo and I wanted to make my past self cry. Two, I wanted to see the basic entry to full frame world. Let's say this is your first full frame camera. Let's see what you get. Sony a7 III is a 24.2 megapixel 35 mm full frame camera and it costs $2000. The body that is. It has 693 phase detection, 425 contrast autofocus points. Yep, that is Sony A9's focus system. A7III's ISO range goes up to 204,800. When you put your ear really close to this camera, you can almost hear it say, Oh, you think darkness is your ally, but you merely adapted the dark. I was born in it molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a, a camera. The shadows betray you because they belong to me. Thank you. It has 15 stop dynamic range, which allows you to recover details that you didn't know were there. Shoots up to 10 frames per second in mechanical or silent shutter mode. doesn't even sweat auto exposing and auto focusing while shooting 10 frames per second neither in JPEG nor JPEG plus raw. It has 5 axis 5 stop optic image stabilization in the camera which is 0.5 stops less than Sony a7R3. The optic image stabilization doesn't create wonders while walking but it works pretty good while you're shooting handheld. Shoots up to 4K 30 frames per second in 100 megabits per second video. And it looks like this. You can also shoot in S-Log3 or HLG, hybrid log 
gamma if you want to shoot HDR videos. However, the full frame size of A7 III is a little smaller than what we have in A7 R3. So the footage you get with the same lens is 1% smaller in 4K 24 frames per second. I'm saying 4K 24 frames per second instead of 30 frames per second because when you shoot in 30 frames per second actually the footage gets cropped a little bit more. So when you shoot in 4K 30 frames per second using a7 III the image gets cropped by 17%. It is something you have to consider if you're buying this camera and this lens for video because 28 millimeter becomes a little narrow if you want to use it like this in 4K 30 frames per second. But there's no crop in 120 frames per second. So wait, a camera that can shoot 120 frames per second slow motion and LA Marathon. Oh come on, how can I not? Now I have a fan mail here and it says Dear iPhone, I can't believe Lady Gaga is following your Twitter. <laughs> oh you, you stop it, you stop it. Yes, she's following me. But she's following 125,000 people so I don't know if that counts. But <laughs> let's just keep that between us. You have a brand new A7 III with all around improvements and great features. Yes I do, thank you very much. My question is how about overheating? Did they fix overheating? Very good question. With my A6500 during 4K video recording, I had to wait more than 30 minutes, sometimes even 35 minutes for it to overheat. It is really frustrating. Did they fix this? Does it overheat faster? Sadly, they didn't give us a better overheating camera. I am sorry to tell you that. I know we've been asking Sony for so long for better overheating, like to overheat in two minutes and put one minute 4K video recording time. We asked Sony for so long for these great features, but sadly their engineers and all that designing team, whoever is working on these cameras, they just can't deliver such amazingness yet, but they're trying. To test overheating I recorded 4K 30 frames per second video continuously until one of them overheated and give up. 91 degrees, oh 99 degrees. On the left we have Sony a7R 3 and on the right we have Sony a7 III. a7 III got warmer quite faster compared to a7R 3 and overheated and shut down after 1 hour and 15 minutes. Let's turn it on again. Under than 14. This under than A7R3 is still around. It said internal temperature too high, allow it to cool and it shut down. A7R3 is still going. And it doesn't even have that yellow sign. But I also like to point out that recording continuously for 75 minutes is a rare situation for most people, including myself. I used this camera in couple of projects and with my tempo I didn't even see the yellow sign of joy. Oh wait, there's more. How about the battery life? Did they give us a better draining camera? You know I like my camera. <laughs> you know I like my camera like my sexual performance. Done and exhausted in 5 minutes. Sadly though, with this camera, Sony A7 III, they didn't give us a better draining battery. This camera comes with a bigger battery and it is very difficult to drain. Joking aside, it actually lasts for so long that I was able to shoot one complete review video using one battery. And I had 24% battery remaining when I was done. Actually, let me show you how much the battery lasts. 
I didn't even open this. I didn't even need it. I didn't need it with Sony a7R 3 and I don't need it with Sony a7 III because they are both ridiculously good when it comes to battery life. Just like Sony a7R 3 Sony a7 III is just very beautiful. It's so nice to look at. It's very ergonomic. It fits right into your hand. Here it's a little short. You can get that grip extension if you want. It, for some reason it is very expensive, but you can get it. But then you, I think you lose the tripod mount. So it is something that I don't care about, but it just sits into your hand really good. And I walked around with this and didn't have any issues. It has two memory card slots and the one in the bottom supports UHS Two. It has touchscreen and using touchscreen you can focus wherever you want. Also with the touchscreen you can move the photos around like this. But when it comes to menus the screen doesn't like touchy-feely very much. But at least now we have my menu here where you can place things you care about in that menu and it's very useful. The screen only flips this much up and that much down it doesn't flip out because after all th this is sony <laughs> they have to keep something sony okay the screen on this camera has the same specs with sony a6500 which is a little lower resolution than sony a7r 3s 1.4 million dots but unlike a6500 under sunny weather you can see the screen a lot better with Sony a7 III because you can turn on the sunny weather mode on while you're shooting in 4K. But if you're wearing polarized sunglasses, the screen on a7 R3 is very difficult to see. This is what happens as soon as you put on polarized sunglasses. You either have to tilt your head or your camera to start seeing the screen. In the beginning, I thought this was going to be a big deal. But then I realized as soon as you apply a protective film on the screen, the problem goes away. Which is something I recommend to you. You should watch Locke's video. In his video, he talks about what happens to the screen in time. In case you're wondering, A7R 3 screen doesn't black out when you wear polarized sunglasses. Also, the electronic viewfinder is same as Sony A6500. Also, A7 III doesn't have the mode dial lock and the flash sync terminal. Coming from Hasselblad X1D, I really didn't think many cameras can impress me with their low light performance. But just like Sony a7R 3 Sony a7 III did. Some footage I shot looks so much brighter than what it actually was. Before releasing this review, I used this camera for all of my work and the results were nothing but A+. In every project, it was a pleasure. Even with this 28 to 70 mm lens, I can easily say that I am in love with it. The price, the features are far from basic. This is without a doubt a revolutionary, reimagined, magical camera. It doesn't limit you. It makes everything easier and better. It is definitely a Beyonce and of course, Taylor Swift. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. I delayed it as much as I can so I can so I get to spend as much time as possible with this amazing camera. Please let me know what you think about Sony A7 III in the comment section below. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and hoşça kalın. I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs>